Hello, this is Richard White with the Polytechnic School EdTech Instructional Screencast on creating PDFs on the Mac. PDF stands for Portable Document Format, which describes a file format that is primarily designed for documents that are to be printed. Adobe created this format years ago, but has since opened up the rights so that developers and users can use the format royalty-free. Most people use PDFs to share information. If a friend of yours sends along a PDF version of a Word document and you don't happen to have Word on your computer or smartphone, you'll still be able to read the PDF version. Likewise, if you read an article on the web that you appreciate, you can certainly bookmark the address of that web page for use later on. But web content can change location or even be removed completely. If you'd like to make an archive of the web page so that you'll be sure to be able to read it later, a PDF version of that page stored on your computer is just what you need. So how do you read a PDF file? For a long time, Apple has supported the use of PDFs on the Mac. Although users can download Adobe's Acrobat Reader to view PDFs, Apple's own preview application is probably a better choice for most users. It's the default PDF viewer on the Mac, and it will automatically launch when you double-click on a PDF file. To create your own PDF of a document or web page in any application, simply use the File menu to select Print or hit Command-P, and then click on the PDF button in the lower left of the Print dialog window. Select Save as PDF and give the document a file name and specify location where the document can be saved. Note that the PDF version of the document that you've created may look slightly different from the original, especially if you're creating a PDF of a web page. Colors, fonts, and layout may all be altered, so if you're interested in archiving those aspects of a website, you may be better off taking a screenshot. Still, it can be enormously useful having an archived version of the text in a document, and for this, PDFs are the way to go. This has been Richard White with the Polytechnic School EdTech Instructional Screencast on creating PDFs on the Mac. Thanks for watching.